Hey, shout out to all the listeners. Um, this is Miss Light and Lively here with DJ Rams in the house. Back for another edition of In the Mix Mondays. So today, um, I, I don't want to have to set off early. <laughs> don't want to have to set off early. Anyway, so <laughs> what's up, Rams? What's going on? What's good, baby? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know, just waiting for some of the actually start. I don't know what was going on this weekend. But you said summer? Summer. Summer started. I know it started, but it's like the weather okay, is okay. not... You need that 90 degree... That constant heat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It hasn't been, like, it hasn't yeah, been It's constant. been bipolar right now, also, <laughs> especially this weekend. Crazy. Yeah, so Saturday, um, well, we do, you know, a little recap over the weekend. Yep. Shout out to my boy, Ron. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, my, my boy it was his birthday over the weekend. So Happy birthday! We did a little, you know, went to the birthday celebration, and then um, you know Sunday I was out all day running errands. So that was pretty much it. And then Friday, I don't know. It's just it's always such a blur. It's always such a blur. I didn't do anything um, major other than the birthday the birthday celebration. That's about it. Okay. What about you? Where were you? Because I know you were everywhere. <sighs> Where were we this weekend? Um, Friday was light. I mean, I didn't even hope. <laughs> <laughs> you taking it? Uh, let's see who this is. I don't know. Should I take it? All right. Yak Radio, hello. Okay. <laughs> Caller, hello. I'm gonna need you to hold on. Or you or you wanna go on air now? Cause I'm on air right now. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for calling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you. Okay, one of our callers just wanted to give a shout out. He didn't want to go on air, so thank you. Okay, okay. Um, we'll take right. that. That's nice. Yeah, why not? Yeah, so um, you were saying about the weekend. Yeah, I said Friday was light. Um, it was in the crib. Saturday, we touched Brooklyn. We went to, um, what's that spot? Cascades. Did a whole white affair over there. Okay. Did a private event earlier prior to that. Sunday, we did the annual health fair in Brooklyn. I saw a lot of people was at that soca event, that mock show. Oh, I saw. Uh, I, had I known? But when was that? That was Sunday. That was, no, Sunday. I can't that even. was Saturday night Saturday. into Sunday morning, like five, six o'clock in the morning. Oh well, I could have never even made it if I wanted to. That was ridiculous. <laughs> they used to do that Cambule thing, but this mock show thing is like. I saw Cambule everybody with the paint. So, yeah, and it was crazy, crazy, crazy. I think maybe next. Shout out to anybody that was out there. It was like Miss Sab was out there, Mark was out there. I missed it. I my saw dude, the pictures on um, my IG. My local was out there. A lot of people was out there. Haitian, man, young child was out there. Uh, crazy, 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 crazy. And I missed it. I was tight. About 4,000 people. Wow. Yeah. But they, they, they had it in a warehouse or something? Nah, from what I understand, I don't know all the details. I don't. I can't speak of what I don't know, but what I do know, I know they had a, like a um, like this big outdoor venue in Brooklyn. I think it's Williamsburg. Okay. And you know they just did what they do: music, paint, whatever may have you. Okay. Stuff like that. Right, things that's of, things of that cool. nature. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, that sounds pretty busy, even though it was only a two. For two days, you it sound like a lot. You got a lot in. Yeah, I did about f- four four parties in two days. <laughs> oh boy! Actually, five. What was it five? But you five party, party. three parties on Saturday, two parties on Sunday. Wow! Yeah, and then work this morning and I'm here. <laughs> I, need, I need a second. <laughs> I, you know, if you got a laptop, send me a mixtape. Let me see how you play. I, could, I need oh, a little DJ. You gotta right teach now. me. No. <laughs> I need nah, a little nah. DJ right now. That's I can't. I can't. I can't. I, 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 sometimes I feel like I need to split myself in two. Like I can't. I'm turning. Too? I'm turning down gigs. I can't. Uh, I can't. I mean, I'm thankful. I'll be like, I'll be like the best female DJ if you if you train me. Because okay. I can train my one of the best. But uh, we'll talk about that another time. Behind the scenes. <laughs> behind, behind the scenes. scenes. We gotta make that happen. Behind the Watch scenes. out for like a lively, right? <laughs> you know, I'm into everything. <laughs> so, um, what would be your DJ name if you was to come on? Keep it light. Keep it I light. I don't know. Do a DJ light. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you, gotta, you 
gotta give me a name. I don't know, but um. I think that'll work. Anybody DJ Light. Yeah, DJ Light. Yeah. Maybe. We'll Maybe. See. We'll see. We'll, we'll come up with that. We'll anyway. <laughs> But um, for those of you who do not know, um, the topic for the night is have you ever sent a message to the wrong person by mistake? Wow. Um, and if so, how do you recover from that? Now, when I say you send the wrong message, you that means like email or like text. Yeah. So we'll talk about that. And also we have the cast and crew from Money and Violence yeah. in the house. Um, they're going to join us in a few minutes. Uh, we're gonna talk about season two. They have been on the show before, and it was like a big thing since I mean, since they that was last year. Sometime they were on the show, and ever since then, I've been seeing them everywhere. Right now, they're um, make you sure know, you tell your friends they are here. They in the green. They right are now. in the building. In the building. <laughs> yes. It's going down. Tell a friend to tell a friend they are here. Right. So um, before we bring them in, I think. You know, for those of you new listeners who don't know exactly what I do, there's this thing that I do called Set It Off. And basically, that's when I kind of get into the things people do, or, you know, that might get on my nerves, or just little things that kind of, you know, set me off. So, with that being said, I think it's about time. And of course, I have my theme music, (laughs) which we'll, we'll keep playing in the background. So now, usually, um, I extend, well, I don't know if you have anything to set it off about, but, all right, here we go. I don't mean to offend anybody, but oh well, if I do, sorry. It's about to, you know, I just, I just got to say it. I was watching something on the news, and there was a criminal, I mean, for, but I don't know, lack of better words to call him, but he was in handcuffs. Okay. And <laughs> he had the handcuffs behind his back. And he got away, and he was running mad fast, like marathon run, okay. in handcuffs. And then I see the two fat police officers chase him, or trying to chase him, <laughs> <laughs> right? So I'm like, all right, law enforcement, if you are, I mean, if you can't run, I don't know, I'm going to need you to put down the donuts. Shouldn't there be some kind of basic training they have, they, 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 <laughs> what happens after you yeah, go once they to get, once they get the once job once you pass yeah but yo the, the dude out it was like shameful it was so shameful he just like so outran them and i'm like okay well he gonna get away because y'all about to have an asthma attack before you even catch up to him okay <laughs> <laughs> so i just thought that that was hilarious so yeah police officers um y'all need to be in better shape because how are you supposed to protect and serve and you can't even run like a block crazy so that's one. Um, another thing, okay, no offense. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, no offense, but people who are foreigners who come to this country. Would you say you uniform? No, listen. <laughs> technically, <laughs> technically, I'm not because I was born here, but for those okay, people. Yeah, the, well, I am. No, 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 but listen, but you didn't let me finish. So, all right, all right. All right, all right. So, if you've been here over 20, 30 years, mm-hmm. I think at this point you should know how to put a sentence together in English. All right, that's all I'm saying. Okay, you've been here you mean, forever. I, you've been in the United States <laughs> for like 30 years and cannot speak a lick of English. <laughs> that to me is just bugged out. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. <laughs> Yo, put a set. Learn how to you know put two, not just hi, oh, I saw the or whatever. I don't yeah. know. But somebody was talking to me today and I'm looking at them like. 